This is in response to the questions of Ms. Maria Luisa Paul, Morning Mix staff writer of the Washington Post. Ms. Louisa Paul asks, can you please tell me a little bit more about Kailasa? When was it founded? Where is it located? What is its population? Is it 100% Hindu? What are its cultural practices? Does it have an official language or anthem? Ms. Paul, we are a revival of the ancient enlightened Hindu civilizational nation and operate through a group of NGOs recognized by the United Nations operating from multiple countries across the world. It was established much in the spirit of a country like the Sovereign Order of Malta, a borderless service-oriented nation. Please visit our website at kailasa.org for further information. The next question Ms. Paul asks, how does the nation operate? Does it provide passports, birth certificates, official documentation? Can people visit Kailasa? What institutions are in place? Does it hold elections? What is its political system? Does it have embassies, ambassadors across the world? And if so, where? Like the Sovereign Order of Malta, Kailasa operates through multiple entities and NGOs, temples, and monasteries in multiple countries. The next question, Ms. Paul asks, in the same vein, if it is in fact a sovereign nation, why has the UN, the city of Newark, and other media outlets decried Kailasa as fake and said they don't recognize it? Is there any documentation proving that Kailasa is a country? Do any other nations recognize it as such? Ms. Paul, these questions have already been answered. Ms. Louisa Paul asks, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Nithyananda Paramashivam, has been accused of rape and scamming. Would you like to respond to these allegations? All such allegations are absolutely false. Many prominent human rights advocates have given independent reports and legal opinions attesting this. Among them is world-renowned Queen's Counsel from UK, Mr. Jeffrey Robertson, who says in this report about the persecution, quote, it arises more generally from the demonization of the leader and guru by the media and state government officials as a result of false sexual abuse charges first leveled against him in 2010 and pursued in a manner that amounts to an abuse of process, unquote. He further adds that, quote, the state of the prosecution evidence in both cases is weak and is reasonably likely that he will eventually be acquitted. It is particularly concerning that the central government is urging states to encourage police action against him, which is marks of persecution and reprisal for his complaints to the UN. Unquote. Finally, quote, for the reasons explained above, I consider that the leader of the ASMT and his followers have suffered and most likely are still suffering persecution on the grounds of religious belief, contrary to Article 18 of the ICCPR. Unquote. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism was proven innocent by the California USA court on April 4, 2013. The court ruled in favor of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and fined the false victim nearly half a million dollars in fines. This is also recognized by Mr. Earl Robertson QC stating, quote, both A and B's claims against PN were dismissed in US cases with costs and in A's case with damages. Further evidence emerged in the US proceedings to show that the allegations were false." Unquote. Ms. Louisa Paul asks, Since then, New World's government has walked back the agreement. How is Kailasa responding to this? Will it still honor the agreement between the two? We remain committed to our purpose and we remain committed to our purpose towards global peace.
Next question, Ms. Paul asks, what is something you'd like people to know about Kailasa? Ms. Paul, we are a revival of the ancient enlightened Hindu civilizational nation operating through a group of NGOs in multiple countries across the world. It was established much in the spirit of a country like the sovereign order of Mata, a borderless service-oriented nation. Its vision is leaving enlightenment for all, leading to global peace irrespective of any external differences including gender, race, nationality, color, caste, creed, etc. It is established on the principle of oneness or Advaita in Sanskrit. You should know about the revival of Kailasa, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Sri Nityananda Paramashivam, who has been formally initiated at the age of three, trained, anointed by competent traditional Hindu authorities who have come in established lineages. He was recognized at a young age as an incarnation as per Hinduism, much like how the Dalai Lama was traditionally recognized as an incarnation as per Tibetan Buddhism. His teachings are based on core ancient Hindu scriptures. Please visit the YouTube link that is uh, posted on the link. And uh, we hope that our previous responses have clarified your questions. Please do let us know if you have any further inquiries and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you.